Welcome to our channel. Join us, Elnik Adventures, as we look back on a full year of full-time travelling. How good is it? Good world. Good world going back. Going to some of the most remote and off-grid locations Australia has to offer. <laughs> Boy, don't do what we just done. These next five campsites we're going to show you, well, they're our favourites. So sit back, grab a beer or a wine, and come with us as we show you our top five off-grid camps of 2022. <laughs> Welcome to another episode. All right. Nearly Christmas time, isn't it? It is. Yes. Um, actually... Nearly baby time too. Yeah. This is a pre-recorded one. Um, we're going to have a couple of weeks off over Christmas. We're getting into them early. And this one is going to be about our top five, oh, five, <laughs> <laughs> five camps, campsites for 2022 for us. So we're not messing about, we'll get into it. Yep. You know, the fourth, we're fifth one. We've got a cheat sheet here too, by the way, because <laughs> our memory's bugging. Um... <laughs> Notch Point is number five on our list. Yeah. It's a big call because a lot of people rate Notch Point number one, don't they? Yeah, they do, actually. Yeah. And look, like, it's on our top five, so it must be pretty good. So, it's in Queensland. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's near Mackay. I'm not real good with maps, even though we do it every day. <laughs> yeah, along the east coast of Queensland. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, it's a cool spot. I mean, you camp, you can, there's a couple of campsites. You can camp on the sort of protected bay area which yeah. is where we camped, or you can camp on this sick sort of headland with palm trees and all that sort of gear. Favorite, most favourite free camps we've been to on the road so far. It's free camping. And cool little four drive track to get in as well. Yeah, it is. And um, it wasn't too hard. You don't want to really be driving too, through too much salt water. This is where it all comes. That's what it looks like anyway. There's no facilities, no nothing, except for they have um, fire pits. Yeah. Scattered around the joint, yeah. sort of here, there and everywhere that people have sort of made. But it is a stunning yeah. place. It's an awesome place and we caught, we actually caught, I think it was like, <sighs> five or six big muddies the biggest muddies we've ever caught yeah. i reckon there um and we caught two or three barra i think it was two, two barra, barra um off the bank as well we didn't get them out of the boat so even if you don't have a boat it's an awesome spot yes crab mud crab look in big boy down for our trap and hopefully a mud crab in the trap we'll see <laughs> I am pumped. Have a go at that. Oh, that is a living Barry. Mate, I am a happy, happy man. Silver slab. Yes, man. I love fishing, eh? And just have a go at this. I'll flip you around. Look at the water. We did do an yeah. episode on it guys, so if you want to check it out. Yeah, all these, yeah, all these um, things we've done separate videos and we'll put them all in the description. Yeah, but yeah, Notch Point is a pretty good spot. It's a cracking spot. Have a go at this bad boy. Bob Jungle, Danny's your aunt. Let's put it on the fire. Is it good? Yeah. Really it good? beautiful. How oh. good is crab? Wish you could just get into it super quickly. <laughs> yeah, this is living, eh? It's, it's living. It is living. <laughs> we love this sort of stuff, eh? Awesome. 
party. Now the next one, I'm going to give you a hint, it's in the Northern Territory. No, is it top five? No, so four. <laughs> this is number four. <laughs> we can't get it. <laughs> four, in the Northern Territory. Starts with a D. Dundee Beach, yes. Well, yeah. Dundee Beach was an interesting <laughs> one and it didn't start off the way we thought. No. <laughs> But nonetheless, <laughs> it was an awesome spot. Yeah. I've got to do everything now, right. here. Someone wanted to get to this sick spot, and it was. It was cool. But it was through very, very, very soft sand, and we ended up getting stuck. Three hours. I was 20 something weeks pregnant and it was hot. We finally got proper bogged and we can't go that way. We're just pulling too much weight. It's just like pulling a, a tank pulling. through the sand. <laughs> so we're gonna come back the way we came and just just walk it out with the um, treads and max tracks. It was so hot. <laughs> it was hot. Yeah. Anyway, so we were stuck for three hours. It took us three hours to get out. No one was around. Anyway, we got to the campsite eventually. Yeah, we, well, yeah, we spent that and then we had to drive through some salt water and mm. um, we eventually got to a campsite which is right on the beach, mind you. Yeah, it is. Literally 10 steps and you're out on the beach and ocean. And um, the weather wasn't on our side there. We couldn't get the boat out to do a lot of fishing. We did get it off, which was a bit <laughs> of a debacle in itself. Is it far enough though, it looks like? Yeah. But um, yeah, one of those spots um, that you could just, in the afternoons, watch that sun set right in front of you. Um, beautiful. They talk beautiful. about the NT sunsets and yeah, they are yeah. amazing. Incredible. Yeah. yeah. That is something I love about the NT. Yeah. Um, we actually even saw crocs there. Yeah, crocs. Caught a mud crab. crab. Yeah. One and of those you, spots is sort of nearly untamed, eh? And you did a pretty good cooking episode, that one. And I cooked some donuts. Look at him go, Lennox. <laughs> I think we did well, mate. Oh, duh. Is that good? We're like the donut kings. Oh, bull crap. Duh. Are we the judges at? That's donut king, isn't it? <laughs> but that is number four. Yeah. Alrighty, number three. 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 It is along the east coast, just south of Bundaberg. King Kuna. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. So 20 minutes out of, King, um, of Bundy, isn't it? Something like that, yeah. Yeah. So this is an awesome camp. We loved every minute of it. Beachfront as you get. Yeah, literally yeah. like on the beach. And heaps of um, trees and stuff, which was good, like for shade. But track in, the track in was pretty fun. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, it's a whole heap of sand driving through 
I don't even know what you call it, but heap of sand. You did most of the driving that one, yeah, actually. Yeah, it was pretty. Did you it was pretty fun. Yeah. Six dollars something. Don't quote me. A person um, in the Queensland National Parks. You just book online, but yeah, you find your own spot, and it's literally on the beach. And yeah. what? It's like one of the last spots you can swim before you get into Croc territory mm -hmm. too. There's a cool four-wheel drive track to Woodgate. Oh. Bloody hell. Yeah. Give it a go then, big boy. While Daddy scopes out where we can get fishies, then we're having some snacks, aren't we? Uh -huh. Mommy, mommy, uh. Heaps of water crossings when we were there. Just one of those cool spots that um, probably under underrated, I reckon. Oh so yeah, I definitely recommend. That's why it's on our third third one. Yeah, that's number three. Mm -hmm. All right, number two. Now this is a close number two with the um, number one. And can you remember it? No, I can't. I'm going we mind. literally just wrote these down about ten minutes. Yeah, but ago. it took a while <laughs> because there's so many awesome spots in Australia. <laughs> I know. All right, it's Cape Creek, oh, and yes. if anyone has not been there or doesn't have never heard of it it's right next to notch point yeah uh, which was number five on our list um literally five ten minute drive to the entry and it's it's a cool spot because to get there you have to drive along a beach at low tide you can't do it at high tide If you get stuck, you get swamped with water. It just went. You found a big fella. Yeah, and I, I'm just gonna, it's worth a mention, probably just lower your tyres before you don't do what we just done. But we are <laughs> lucky we've timed this, um, that the tide's going out because, can't, like, come for a walk. The tide's out there now and it's dropping, it's got another couple of hours of dropping before and then it starts to come back in and you can see where the tide line up there is with all the seaweed. So <laughs> this could potentially be a bad situation to be in if the tide was coming in. But um, the tide's going out, we've got plenty of time, we've got two or three hours, so and we're pretty confident we'll get out of this, we'll just lower the tide pressure and we'll get off. Hopefully. You're bloody high. <laughs> hopefully. Righto, so yeah. Moral of the story, don't do what we did. And then once you get off the beach, hey, you get in this cool, really tight yeah. four-wheel drive track. It was pretty tight, very tight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you do a beach run and then you got to do a bit of a I like a little inland track. So we'll see how that goes, see how tight it is for the big rig to get in. <laughs> that was so close to the truth. So 
worth it. You keep following the four-wheel drive track around and it brings you out to this like river system that meets the ocean. You're right on the mouth of it. Just a sick spot. Yeah. And it's National Park. National Again, Park, National yeah. Park. Um, no facilities when we were there, but things could change. No. And that was only this year at 2022. Yeah. Um, at the start of the year. Um, but we got the tinny off. Yes, we did. And we went to this awesome island. Yeah, it was about 10 k's <laughs> offshore. Um, I don't can't remember the name of it. We went spear fishing and everywhere, and that is croc territory there. So um, crystal clear water. Hey, croc territory. it was yeah. <laughs> you kept that away from me. <laughs> but yeah, such a cool spot, and like everyone thinks of like up north. North Queensland, far north Queensland, the rivers are sort of a bit dirty, but this river system was just crystal clear water, eh? Yeah. Oh, and there was turtles. Like where we were camped, like you just yeah. had like a second walk to the um, beach, and out the front is just turtles swimming past constantly. It's hey? like a turtle corridor, yeah. Turtle right there. It was amazing. So good. We weren't very good at crabbing we didn't do nah. well then we caught a few barra but there fish yeah fish. barra um fred fin salmon there was a heap did you get flatties flatties yeah. yeah we had a good feed some yeah. tuna yes 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 it's the second night from leaving and i've nailed another barra <laughs> i've got Lena out of bed she's uh coming to get some photo evidence i don't know i reckon this one could be pushing 80. 83. oh close good job well done. Silver slab. Yes. It is one of those spots that um, I haven't seen anyone else go to yet. Yeah. And I like, and I'm not sure why, because it's just a banger. It was an absolute banger. Yeah, it was fun to get there, and it was even better to stay there. Yeah. You could stay there and again for ages if you wanted. And we were there during a massive storm that actually we got to fill up <laughs> all our tanks again. Did you start the fire, did you? Yep. Yeah? You reckon that storm's going to get us? Oh, that was close. <laughs> collect it, Dale, collect it. <laughs> How good is it? So good. Yeah. Is even better. So I think we stay there for seven days or maybe just over seven days and like smack bang halfway through, big storm. Yeah, it was good. Filled the water tanks, you had a tub under it. Yeah, had a shower. <laughs> um, and that's the first time Lennox actually probably tastes like fresh sashimi tuna. Yeah, he did. And he loved it. Yeah. Which is good and bad. Yeah, loves the <laughs> finer stuff in life, that boy. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that made it number two, and what an awesome spot. We'll never forget it, eh? No, no it was yeah. a good spot. Go, big mama. There's a lot of colour. Don't so cool, eh? I'm stoked, eh? See a lot of colors, only feeling blue. There's a lot of colors, lost within a haze. Don't rely on others to get you through the maze. Alright, do you reckon number one? We're ready for number one. <laughs> You can say this one. Alright, this is like um, a seven emu station. It's in the Northern Territory, just west of Hell's Gate. And uh, like, I don't know, that road past Hell's Gate, what's it even called? The Savannah Way. That's the roughest roads I think we've ever driven at that yeah, time. Um, the corrugations were just relentless. 300 k is pretty well from, from anything. And when I say anything, like a little town that might have a pub or a servo. It's remote as we get. And it was about 60 k turn off from the Savannah Way to the homestead. And then another 30 k yeah. down to the river mouth where we camped. And obviously no phone service, so like we love that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're after. Um, yeah, it's one of those spots you just have to pinch yourself. So you have to make sure you have enough fuel to get out there and get back. Yeah. 
I think we we can get around 750 to 800 k's with mm. uh, Maxi and Jerry cans, and we're at the limit. Yeah. What you caught? Oh, the yeah. biggest fish I think you've ever caught. 1.2 meter queenie. I smashed him. <laughs> smashed him. Yeah. But I mean, getting in there, it was like had everything. It had river river crossing. Yeah, bulldust holes, Bull. which is super cool. <laughs> yeah, and then you like snake your way through next to the river yeah. for 30 k's down to where you camp. Yeah, yeah we are. And I mean, like the fish and the mud crabs were next level. We ended up throwing mud crabs back when we were sick of them. Yeah. Crab, he's a big boy. Big and... Get out! <laughs> Woohoo! We picked this fella. And that means we've got three crabs. There's plenty of crabs here, so um, I think the next couple of days, if we need more crab, we can just come and get some, eh? Yeah. Um, fish, we got jacks. He's in the boat! Yeah! <laughs> Queenies. Ooh, ooh. Get me on. Oh. <laughs> Alenia Lee. <laughs> yes, high five. No, I can't high five. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's heaps of stuff there. Yeah. This best, the best sunset we've ever seen. Yeah, ever. like I was saying, the NT sunset's unreal, but at this place. Here That was probably the best. They're like purple. Yeah. I don't know, they were just one of those spots. We'll probably, if we ever go back there, it probably won't be the same because you know yourself, you can never reenact weather, you know, everything. everything. <laughs> but, um, but yeah. yeah, perfect. That's why it's our number one. It's number one. And we'll never forget it. To be honest, like I didn't want to go. <laughs> she, I'm not did, gonna lie. she was wussing out. She was, was wussing on me. I was. That's the first campsite. <laughs> I was like, oh no, I don't really want to go. I think because of the remoteness, it was quite far off track. And um, <laughs> but once we got there, like that was forgotten about. It was amazing. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was just. It was next level. If it's not on your list, you just put it on there. Yeah. Not if you're precious about your caravan or car though, because. <laughs> the sun sets behind us. We've had a cracking time here at Seven Amy Station. Uh, fishing, crabbing, all the works. And we will leave you with some Yay. of our dance moves. A fish dance! Woohoo! Sitting lonely in my room again, trying to find the words to say, but nothing comes out. I am looking for the better day It seem like they just stay away whenever I try There's so many things that I keep in my mind My friends keep me out and it hurts every time With all the emotions I built up inside Oh, why can't I? Will someone look for me if I disappear? No matter how much that I scream, nobody hears But I see the light from far away, it's down the line Maybe I should not give up without a fight Cause there will be a time oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Anyway, we'll stop waffling on Yeah um, you, Yeah, like we said at the start, you can watch all these episodes again We'll put them in the description Yeah But, oh Tinny missions, we do do tinny yes. missions. Yeah, so we've done, that's our campsites. And if you've followed us for a while, you know we do um, camping missions out of our three and a half meter tinny. 
Yeah. So we've just picked one um, for this year because we've done a few. Do you want to do it? Because you loved it. Yeah. So on our tinny missions, we take basically the bare minimum. Hey, where did we go? I know. You I haven't know. told I'm, anyone. I'm building it oh, up. Oh, she's it's building suspense. Sus oh, okay. suspense. Building suspense, apparently. Anyway, you take the bare minimum. Bare, bare minimum. We had um, bare minimum. Minimum, minimum, minimum. We have a tent. Yoohoo! Jenny Mission's a foot. We have a tent. <laughs> we just had cooking supplies, just one of those gas stove things, bedding. That was a bit. That was it. That was about it. Classy, <laughs> <laughs> baby. Yoohoo! We've got Lennox's bed, yeah. Finny's bed, and our bed. We went to Dunk Island, and if you haven't been, just write this down right away. Like, yeah. where is it? <laughs> Off Mission Beach. <laughs> yeah, good Off work. Mission Beach good in work. Queensland. Yeah. And, and it if, is yeah. amazing. Oh, if you don't have a tinny, you can actually hire them from Mission Beach. Yeah. We stayed at Camp Spot One. This is like just ocean front as finest. And they have, it's basically on the beach. They also have little huts. Yeah. I think people make them, I'm not sure, but. Have a look at our YouTube yeah. episode. It was just. It's like you're in another world, you know, like when you yeah. go to Fiji or like. It's like a tropical island, yeah. but it's only four Ks from, from mainland Australia. and I do all the hard work <laughs> cracking her open and you just munging on it. <laughs> what it's about actually, Lennox and I? It's actually really good. There's another bit over there. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Get it in. Coral trout, baby! Woo! Woo! Yes! Yes! A... There's heaps of islands around there that yeah. we'd explored like just in the uh, how many? Two or three days? Yeah, I think we stayed two nights. We could have stayed more, but unfortunately... Yeah. We just got this perfect weather game. Yeah, we yeah. did. But yeah, it was just an unreal experience. When you get out in a boat and you have limited supplies, two hungry little kids, yeah. and a hungry big mama, it's um, it's just an adventure and it's just an awesome one. Yeah, so yeah, I definitely recommend Dunk Island. Ooh, awesome. Yeah. We'll be going back, that's for sure. We will be, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we will. Definitely. All right. So, that's have we it. waffled on? I think we're led. We probably <laughs> sick of us waffling on. Um, have a very good Christmas, everyone. Yeah. Uh, thanks for everyone's support over 2022. 22. It's been a big year. We've done a lot. Having a baby. We're getting a new van this year. We've started our website and merchandise line. Yeah. <laughs> and what else? I don't know. And we've been to some incredible places. Yeah. But. I think next year's going to be yeah, a big one. Yeah, next year's going to be a big one, but thanks for everyone's support for this year. Yeah, but we're going to have a couple of weeks off camera. Hope everyone enjoys Christmas, and um, we'll see you next year. Yep, don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Yoo-hoo! <laughs>